Arun Homes is registered to accommodate 88 ladies with intellectual disabilities. We do have day workers. Day workers also comprises of males, 45 that are coming in on a daily basis. They are organized, um, transport is organized by their parents where they drop them in the morning and pick them up in the afternoons. We accommodate them in six houses where each house has a house mother and a domestic worker. The person must be 18 years old, must have an intellectual disability, must be able to work in our protective workshops. The vision of Irene Homes is to enable the uh, intellectual disabled person to reach their full potential. So that means we have to have a basis where we work from. So that's therefore very, very important that each beneficiary is evaluated to determine their level of abilities but it's also important that it's an ongoing process um, which is done by the multidisciplinary team for us to assist the beneficiaries to reach their full potential. We have three different workshops where we place the beneficiaries according to their level of ability but it's also important to expose them to different activities on an ongoing process where we on, on their level of ability, but it's also important to just move a little bit upwards with the activities and what they're asking from the beneficiaries in order to allow them to reach their highest level of, of ability. The content of the program in all the workshops is consisting of arts and crafts for various reasons, um, surely to make money, and then also to um, stimulate them um, with, with different activities. But also we have physical activities. It's very important that we also look after their health and their physical being. It's also important to look after their emotional well-being. And we also um, assist them with life skills. <laughs> I think all the staff members, all the people that are working here at Irene Homes have passion for people with mental disabilities. We have people uh, passion for, for the love and, and, and the care that we give for them. It's not only coming here and coming to work, but it is coming here to do something that you love, giving back to the community, if can, I can put it that way. Because then when you come in this um, environment, there is so much peace, there's so much tranquility that these um, residents, they give. They, they do not have any care about the troubles that we, we, we worry about, about the weather, about the traffic, about all this. All that they need is for us to open our arms and to love them and to care for them. I think the professionals in the way that we know the, the extra mile that we go, making sure that the residents or the beneficiaries at Irene Homes are feeling safe, they are feeling loved, and they are feeling most at home. We don't want them to miss their homes. This is a home away from home for them.